everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Smash Brothers U. Yeah. Uh, I guess you, you can call it Wii U, but I just called it U. Um, last time you joined us, which was actually for me just like 10 seconds ago, um, we were trying to play online. I played with a friend, and we played for Glory, and I lost as Palutena. Today we're going to be, be showing you the power of Jiggles. I mean, Jigglypuff. The, the thing I like about Jigglypuff, first of all, is that she can punish a lot of fast characters. So Captain Falcon actually can get punished a lot if I actually play well. But there's one thing if I have to say about Jigglypuff that sometimes I don't understand is how people can air grab you out of the air. Oh, and standard air. Oh, nice. <laughs> I, I was the standard air. Uh, has a lot of knockback to it, so I was hoping that I was going to knock her back enough so she would fall off the cliff, but that didn't work. Uh, the running the running slide attack that she has, that does a lot of knockback, and it's good for comboing into a side smash, if you can get it. Ooh, nice. Don't worry, I will. The best, but the best reason why Jigglypuff is so good Ignore the fact that I just died when I was saying that. Because I... You can punish people really bad. And they're dead. Like, as long as you can... You can get anybody at a certain percentage off the cliff and, like, they would be dead. I don't know why he tried to do the early spike. The person... Well, the Falcon tried to do the early spike because... I think I got spiked once as Jigglypuff when I first started back up. Well, the person said. Um, when you spike Jigglypuff, more than likely she'll be able to recover. Like, if you try to spike Jigglypuff at like anything uh, lower than any, if you try to spike her at like let's say um, uh, 40, she can still probably recover as long as she doesn't get spiked again. But um. Uh, I'm bringing back that bad joke. Uh, but when it comes to like a, like anything higher than that, then she usually gets bopped by a uh, freaking spike. But most of the time when people spike you, you can usually punish it by just moving air dodging and then using a back air with her. So it's pretty amazing. Okay, so the person's going to try to be a Jigglypuff as well, which I don't find that much of a bother. Because unless you know how to punish, play as a Jigglypuff, you can't punish a Jigglypuff player. Yeah, although I like her basic uh, two-jab combo, where you can pretty much knock people off the edge, and then they pretty much don't know what to do because they're like, oh, the jab combo. And that's the only one I... That's one of the good jab combos that does three damage each hit. So if you can get somebody stuck in it for quite a little while, then you're pretty set. Yeah. This person doesn't know how to play Jigglypuff that well, I don't think. And they're having a little bit of a hard time. I could have probably attacked that, but I... The frame... But where I hit it on the frame... Was a little bit horrible, so... Oh! And her downs and her down smash. Now that's something I like about her too, because if you hit somebody with their down with your down smash, you send them flying, like literally on the ground. It's it's technically a slip move, but if you don't slip and fall, you just slide. And it's like, um, you pretty much can careen somebody off the edge, and if you're fast enough, which usually if you want a good move fast with Jigglypuff, you want to be in the air at all times. Oh, there you go. Um, dang it. How many times am I going to say, um? And that didn't help, actually. But it works so well if you can get in the air so you can, um... Here's a technique, advanced technique. If you get somebody close to the edge and use the sleeping song, you can then combo into um, the down B, which is a super spike, which usually can KO like a Jigglypuff at, like, 40 because it does like 20 damage plus the uh, flower damage. Good. I don't know why that person's taunting because they're kind of losing. And also, don't forget about... 
and there you go. <laughs> she got pun the person got punished because they tr they're trying to be slick. I think that again, I think they were trying to learn how to use Jigglypuff, and I'm like, okay, let's see, Celebi, die immortal. I'll send you a friend request. I usually send people who I think do have potential in this game. I send them a friend request. Uh, or who are at equal level with me. Uh, but yeah. And if she's gonna use Jigglypuff again, I'm gonna try to use Mel Palutena. I'm just gonna try to use both of the characters that I thought I was gonna use last time. But yeah, Jigglypuff's really good. And her Pimp Slap, which I call her the PP, the Pink Pimp, uh, her Pimp Slab can usually negate like most of Smash attacks and also specials. And also a lot of projectiles, so... Again, Jigglypuff is a good character, it's just you need to be careful about how much damage you're taking throughout a match. Because if you get a lot of damage put on you um, through uh, one match, you can, you, can, you can lose quite easily with Jigglypuff. Because she... With one good smash attack, like from Captain Falcon, I expected to die on that one stage when I was playing with her, uh, because she's really floaty. She's one of, I think she's the floatiest character in the game, so, like, getting attacked at, like, 60% is, like, you're, you're in danger zone already. Yep. Ugh. And the good thing about Jigglypuff is a lot of her attacks can come out really quick, too, and can, like... The down air, if you can get somebody in, like, above, if you jump above the ground and use your down air, you can usually rack up quite a lot of points to attack people with. Oh. And the pink pimp slap always does, like, 11 or 12 damage. So, if you can hit people with the pink, uh, pimp hand, then you're going to be doing fine in most regards. Um, another one of the good things about the pimp hand, I guess I should mention, and a lot of her moves, uh, there are a lot of shield breakers. And what do I mean by shield breakers? If you defend and you like shield, like she can chew up like a lot of your uh, blocking. So it's quite dangerous to block like the pimp hand and like the rollout, which is means they have to like perfect dodge or they're gonna die. That would have probably killed me because her jiggly jiggly puffs. A lot of her smash attacks are like. Mm, I like to say around like 12 or 13 points, and she forgot the turn. Well, and that's how a lot of the ways you're gonna die with Jigglypuff is a lot of ways, uh, a lot of SDs with the rollout. Because if you if you try to not turn early to psych the opponent out, then you're usually not gonna hit them and careen off the edge. And if you use it in the air, also it's a lot dang more dangerous because, well. I think the person forgot that Jigglypuff can, like, float forever. But yeah, I think we played three rounds and I won all three, so I guess I can find a different room and continue explaining Jigglypuff. Um, well, there you go. I said it again. Uh, yes. But yeah, Jigglypuff is really good. She, if you get people in the Sleeping Song, you can usually get a easy, easy uh, rest, rest attack, which is the down B. But the thing about the rest attack, if you're not inside the person's hitbox, then sometimes you're going to fudge yourself over if you're at a high percentage and get KO'd. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to use Jigglypuff. I want Usually Jigglypuff is my testing character. Depending on the playstyle of the person, I usually change characters. But, okay, so this person uses Shulk, so... I'm going to try not to be... I'm trying. I'm gonna try to be vigilant with some of my attacks because, again, Shulk can be easily nerfed as long as you can, as long as you can get him far away, so far enough away from the edge. And this person doesn't seem to play Shulk that well, or is a bit concerned because I'm playing as a Jigglypuff, which he should be, but. Um, I mean Shulk, by the way, so if, if, I, if you see me blocking a lot of his moves, it's because I literally love the heck out of him, so I know a lot of his moveset already. 
Oh, see, now this is a good opportunity for Jigglypuff. Now watch this. Oh, oh, well, you're dead. As soon as Shulk gets into shield mode with Jigglypuff, you're dead. Like, there's no coming back. Because Jigglypuff has so much air priority that she can combo uh, shield a heavy character that doesn't have a good recovery, like, or a light character that doesn't have a good recovery, and that's pretty much GG. A lot of Kirby's can do that, but Jigglypuff does it especially well because of her damage output. Like, her back air also, well, he has teeth. Um, <laughs> Jigglypuff's back air does a lot of knockback plus damage. I think it does, like, 13 damage. I should check that well. Probably he's gonna quit, and then there's gonna be a new opponent. Um, I really should stop hanging on. I just like thinking a lot. Let's see. Yeah, it does 13 damage and a lot of knockback. So once you get somebody up to like 50% of their damage and you start doing the back air, they'll get knocked around quite easily. Now see that down air? You can combo that into the up air like I showed, which that is a good setup if you if you want a lot of damage right off the bat. Ugh. Captain Falcon. Just escape. Oh, nice block. Uh, oh, Duncan. Actually, I haven't seen a Captain Falcon that dunked my Jigglypuff yet. Uh, that being the Falcon down air. I mean, that no side B. Uh, let's see. I want to see if I can punish this guy. Oh. Oh, almost. You can block the singing song, which... In, my, in most cases is a blessing in the skies because he didn't dodge roll, which I have a lot of problems with sometimes with certain characters because some characters I think, yeah, see, I was dead. <laughs> yep, yeah, 78% I wasn't recovering from that with my jumps. Uh, okay. I thought I hit that, but uh, apparently I didn't. Oh, okay. And punish. I'm not gonna jump out there to him, I'm just gonna wait. Okay. Pink. Slap. There you go, back air and he's dead. The back air is a reliable kill move. In most occasions. Okay, and now he's gonna be in the air. And a lot of Jigglypuff's moves trip a lot too. Which is both a blessing and, uh, bless, I guess a blessing in the guys in some cases. And now he's just gonna spam the side B. And I ran into his elbow. <laughs> I forgot that he has a few more, uh, hitbox frames that I can't run into, but yeah. But, at the end of the day, Jigglypuff is a really good Smash Brothers character for the new installment. Like, in Smat and, like, Brawl, I didn't think much of Jigglypuff, because it seemed like, it seemed like that you, if you wanted to do a lot of good stuff with her, you had to, like, be able to combo and try to rack up a lot of harder damage. Like, Jigglypuff, I think, has, like, a few, like, ex four or five extra points to each of her attack moves, which makes her more reliable of a character to use. I probably could have beat the Captain Falcon. It was pretty good, but <laughs> I could have won if I didn't run into the frame. Hit. Oh, he has Tin Link now, so this actually might be a little bit easier of a battle for me. You just gotta make sure not to do too many risky stunts with Jigglypuff. Like that, that's gonna be a... Oh, see, that's gonna be a lot of extra damage that I don't really want right with Jigglypuff. Now I'm in KO status because I'm at 50. One good smash attack could end me. But also, I'm gonna dodge ball. Yeah, I couldn't punish it. Uh, hey! Oh. And, say good night. And now I'm just gonna combo, and then you can't get back on. Yep. 
Again, that's one of Jigglypuff's secret weapons, just finding a bad, um... Oh, that was a nice spike. <laughs> I won't lie. <laughs> that spike, I actually wasn't as expecting it. And actually, I was expecting the person to die, but uh, you can move um, Toon Link's down a... or down air spike, I guess you can call it. And you're dead. Yeah, whether he grabbed onto the ledge, whether he tried to grab onto the ledge or just tried to recover, he was dead. But yeah, guys, I guess that's going to be it for me showing you Jigglypuff. And yeah. So next time on Let's, well, Let's Wi-Fi on Super Smash Brothers U, uh, well, I guess I'll be doing uh, Browser Jr. So uh, until then, guys, I've been Multi12679, and I'll catch you guys next time.